Welcome back. We are here on E2 looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 26, 2021. Uh, so, yes, there has been a lot of turmoil in the market today, especially uh, tech stocks got hammered, mainly due to the yields spiking. And that is really, really toxic for 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 those kinds of instru instruments. Uh, we also saw a massive rally here in the US dollar, which also in basically affected gold and other uh, other commodities and um, yes at this point we could see market uh, continue falling if this trend follows so if we look at the US dollar index we can see that we're still trading underneath the 50 and the 420 exponential we're trading at uh, 9022 technical indicators they are either flat or turning around but we need to break the 15 and the 20 in order to go to higher levels. Otherwise, we'll just roll over here and go back towards the lower levels. So let's look at oil. So oil is still rallying. We have been fairly all over the place today, but we are getting very close to 65. 65 is most likely where we'll see uh, a lot of resistance. That is around this area here. That is the previous highs before this crash. We have basically crossed these or tested these previous highs. And we also have the previous highs here. So both of those will offer quite a lot of resistance for this market. So we are still fairly far far off. We could make a massive rule to the upside if the US dollar, for example, uh, turns around and, and, and crashes. And that will, it will probably give enough momentum to push this all the way to the top here. Technically, the um, we are either flat or bullish at this point. We are we are overbought, not significantly, but we are overbought. So from pullbacks to the 20 exponential or the $60 range, that it is uh, should be it should not be um, should not be um, at this point, it is very likely that that could happen. But the target, long-term target or short-term target here is fifty-six dollars, and then after that, we most likely will see um, a quite big pullback after that. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we continue to fall. We are trading under. We tried to rally, but found resistance at the twenty exponential, and then we continue falling. We're trading just above the fifty moving average. And if you look at these technical indicators, they are looking dreadful for. The, uh, for this market a uh, break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 20, 200 moving average all the way down here at the 2.5 probably or 2.4661 so yes uh, there is not uh, the same kind of weather conditions in, uh, in the united states as there were and usually that uh, decreases demand and therefore prices uh, of natural gas also uh, decrease so let's look at copper So we did have a pullback today, and that is not strange because we were significantly uh, overstretched to the upside and overbought. We're still overbought. We're at 70, uh, 76 here. The technical indicators are turning around, so we could roll around, roll over here and head back towards uh, four, uh, towards this level here before finding uh, finding support and, go, and going higher. We are still in uptrends. We're just got completely parabolical we is almost vertical and that just cannot last forever at some point you're going to see a massive pullback back towards support before going higher so let's look at gold yes gold markets are having a horrible day both of the yields and also because of the appreciation of the us dollar but we did find support down here at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators are all turning around. So gold is in a slight downtrend and we're just going to go lower, lower, lower. We're at 1774, 7050. If that breaks, then that opens the door to 1700 and then to 60, 1650 and then 1600. And probably we'll head all the way down to 1500 if this continues. We have a massive resistance line above here. We haven't tested that in a very long time. 
but still the 20, 50, and the 200 all offer massive resistance. So rallies towards the 20 exponential that are basically selling um, opportunities at this point. So let's look at silver. Yes, silver did fall uh, again to support right here at 20 moving average. If, the, if this breaks, that opens the door to the 50 and that usually in the past has also acted as support. So um, yes, uh, possible buying uh, buying the dips here, that is the way to go. Technical negators, they are all turning around. Long-term target here, we are gradually going up towards this price level of uh, 30 uh, thirty dollars, and uh, yes, that is most likely where we're heading to, and that will probably take around two, three weeks in order to get to that price level. So let's look at platinum. So we did fall apart today, and we head towards the twenty exponential moving average around twelve oh eight. So. Um, this was an area where we uh, we pulled back in the past. We can look also at the Fibonacci retracement for this uh, here. And you can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is right where we found support today. Uh, break below this, opposite door to the 50, around 11.87, and then all the way down to 11.53. I don't think that we're going to go down there. So 20 exponential has in the past been very uh, supportive. We have occasionally gone underneath and then rallied but we have to go way back before we ever tested the 50 years right here and this is basically back in mid november last year so let's look at pallium so we have been basically all over the place today we did get to the all-time highs here this is basically as close as you basically get so if you get to 2.5 you're going to run into massive selling pressure and that's also what we witnessed here so we got outside of the bullish band, got close to 2.5, and then bang, to the downside. At the moment, we are trading in the reds, and usually when we get to the upside, you have occasional decline back to the downside. That is how this has been moving for all the way, we have to go all the way back to August. So rallying towards 2.5, selling towards 2.2, and then rallying back to 2.5, and so on and so on. So we're trading sideways, and uh, yes, that is a possible selling opportunity at 2.5 here. So let's look at aluminium. So we have continued, we have started to break down. Uh, this is significantly over, um, overbought, overstretched, and uh, it will most likely head back towards this uh, support, which is at 20 um, or 2100, give or take, around this area here. So we'll most likely fall back down and then head back up. We are in the uptrend. We just got way up ahead of ourselves here. Technical indicators, they are, uh, well, they are still bullish, but uh, you can see the stochastic turning around here. And uh, because we are outside of the bullish band and we are overbought, it should be a warning that we are going to pull back. So let's look at nickel. So nickel just fell off a cliff today. We rallied up towards this level of 1900, 805, found support here at uh, the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, at this point, we'll probably stay here for a while. Technical indicators are looking very bearish for this, um, for this uh, precious metal. We are still on an uptrend. We got way up ahead of ourselves here, went outside of the bullish band, and that usually happens when that occurs, that we have this massive pullback. So 20 has offered support, 50 will offer even more support, and uh, yes, if you can get down there, that is probably the best entry that you can get for this, uh, for this, um, for this precious metal. So let's look at sugar. Yes, um, this was an um, odd one. We did enter this uh, today. I did not expect it to fall as far as it did, uh, but it did find kind of support here in the middle of the bullish band and pull back. Technical indicators I have not still turned around. So it'll probably take a few days before we turn around here if it doesn't break even lower than this towards the 50 
in moving average. So around this area, we did find support. That's also the previous highs here. Um, if these second indicators turn around, then that could be an indication that we'll head back towards these very highs. So let's look at cotton. So cotton fell completely up a cliff today. We're down three, four percent, uh, right, give or take. So we did even fall through this area, which is at uh, at uh, zero point nine nine ninety, and uh, we're trading at zero point eighty nine. If you look at this candlestick here, it is completely full, and that is usually a very very bearish shine. It was the opposite; it would have been bullish, but because of this, uh, there is basically no uh, um, end here. That is usually a very 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 shine. Technical indicators are also turning around. So we could see even a bigger, a massive fall, not a bigger fall, but we could see an additional fall towards the 20 exponential or the 20 right here um, in tomorrow's session. So let's look at COA. Yes, we did rally here. We have been rallying for the last uh, six, seven days. We are getting very close to the, uh, the off the top of the bullish band, but still, we're trading right in the middle of things. It is basically all over the place for this. I technically hate this market, and therefore I don't really uh, bother trading it. But the very highs here, which are interesting, is uh, 2.8, and the very lows down here at 2.2. That could be buying opportunity and selling opportunity. But right here, this is just, just uh, pure gambling entering this market. You can break down like this, or you can rally like that in no time. Taking into consideration, they are very bullish, so we may rally up towards the top of the bullish band and then break towards the 50 moving average. So let's look at wheat. So we rallied yesterday. Today, we, we, we kind of continued that rally and then broke down and then rallied yet again. Technical indicators, they are turning around for this, so we may be heading back towards the 20 exponential or probably the 50 before going higher. We are still in the uptrend, so yes, pullbacks towards major support, that is a buying opportunity. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.